Hello listeners, this is your SSK and today we have an interesting story from Chandamama 2000 June and the name of the story is The Swan from Manasarovar A swan, a resident of the great and sacred lake Manasarovar high in the Himalayas once grew curious about the localities beyond the divine range of hills. One day he spread his silver wings and rose above the peaks and flew down towards the villages and hamlets of the plains. A flew over hours and then on seeing a pond at the center of a village descended there. As he relaxed touching the muddy water and surveying the environment with curiosity, the stock who were wallowing in the mud scanned him with amazement. Who are you stranger? One of the oldest stocks asked him, I am a swan. Swan? We understand. We have heard of swans. Where do you live? The heavenly Manasarovar is my abode. Where is that? In the inner ranges of good soul Himalayas overlooked by Mount Kailash. Is that lake different from this our point in any way? Asked another stock. Well, very very different, I must say. In what way? How much do you know about this wonderful pond of ours? At least a dozen cows and buffalo bath in this, apart from a dozen or two men, women and kids. Can your leg break this record? Asked a young stock aggressive. No cows, buffaloes, men, women and kids live around our lake. Only nymphs, fairies, gandharvas and kinaras, apart from gods and goddesses, come to bath there replied the swan. Do you have such water creepers as we have, sporting such teeny flowers? No, but we have lotus rather than the golden hue. What do you eat? The lotus fruit and lotus nectar. The strokes looked at once another meaningfully. Do you mean to say that you live without eating insects, leeches, froglings, worms and fishes? What are they? asked the swan. What are they? You asked what are they? That means you have never even tasted them and you still consider your life worth living? Asked several of stocks in chorus and then all of them burst into a shrill screechy laugh. The swan from Manasarova took off and spread his wings heading towards his Himalayan abode.